Hi friends, I hope that you're all well, healthy, safe, and strong. Ready na ba kayo sa ating second part ng tutorials? I can't hear you. Say yes. Yes? Let's go! Yeah. This is Master May and welcome to my YouTube channel where you can be amazing and marvelous. So, are you ready na ba kayo sa second part ng ating tutorial? Let's do a recap. Sa first part, natutunan nyo makinig ng music, anong klaseng rhythm siya, anong klaseng genre ng music, tempo, slow, mid, fast, how to listen to it, how to feel it. And then the third part is the countings. Ginawa nyo ba yung countings? Kung nagawa nyo, well done to you. Thumbs up. Ito na yung simula ng learning something different. Let me know guys kung anong music yung favorite nyo at nabilangan nyo. And then I will reply to you kung tama nga siya. So I can search then your favorite music. At least for me, something to get to know you more. Alright! Ito na. Yung portion natin is choreography. Ta-da! Paano ba namin kinokoreograph yung isang piece ng sayaw? After namin ginawa yung process sa first part na tinuro ko sa inyo, ito na yung time na we are in the rehearsal hall, we are going to prepare to make a piece na some of it became iconic at uh, some of it became the national anthem that time, street boys time. First, when we think of a piece or a dance, we have to be original. You have to have your originality, of course. Yun yung tumatak sa mga tao eh. Like for the street boys, we have our own original style, which is the exhibition. For choreography, you have to have originality, projection, of course, being safe. Always, always, you have to be safe, especially dun sa mga exhibitions namin. And, ito yung pinaka pinaka last namin ni isep ano yung magiging response ng audience sa performance namin ano yung dapat namin i-add para magkaroon ng konting flavor yung pieza namin kasi dancing wise marami talaga sa Philippines that time na magagaling talagang sumayaw pero what makes us different bakit iba ang street boys sa ibang grupo because Every time that we perform, ito yung secret, one of the secret sauce. Every time we perform, sa isip namin, we have to be precise, we have to have power, we have to have energy, we have to have the projection. And lastly, yung well-known sa grupo is yung exhibition. Plus, it should be entertaining and engaging so that yung mga nanonood sa amin is ma-entertain talaga, matuwa sila. All right, so how do we begin the rehearsal? First and foremost, very, very important sa mga gustong sumayaw, sa mga dancer, sa mga seasoned dancers, sa mga professionals, number one yung gagawin is to stretch. Stretching, stretching, stretching. Tatlong beses ko sasabihin yan. Kasi it's very, very important sa body ng dancer yan or kung sino man yung sasayaw. Stretching, Warm up. Make sure you condition yourself para sa strenuous movement. Kasi mostly dung sayaw namin is very, very, how do you say this? You need a high level energy. Hindi ka pwedeng baliwala lang, petiks, petiks lang. Hindi pwedeng ganon. Kasi kapag ginawa niyo yun, you tend to get injured. Kapag hindi kayo nag-focus, nag-concentrate sa inyong stretching at warm-up. Imagine this, guys. Kung magmamaneho ka ng kotse mo for long drive or kahit anong sasakyan, kung may excursion tayo, di ba? You have to condition the car or yung sasakyan mo na, okay, where we are going to Baguio, we are going to Lawag, pupunta kami ng Samar, hindi mo pwedeng as is yung kotse mo or yung sasakyan mo, tara, let's go. Hindi pwede. You have to check everything. Yung oil, of course, yung gas, yung tires, ba, yung braking system, lahat. So, ganun din sa body ng tao. Especially for us, the street boys. Very strenuous yung gagawin namin sayo. So, we have to condition ourselves. Very, very important, guys. Please, please, do your stretching. Do your warm-up before anything else. If you're going to do a very strenuous work or any exercises or any workout, you have to stretch 
warm yourself, condition first, bago natin gawin yung dapat natin gawin. Para ready yung body natin. Kahit mini exercise lang yan guys, very important talaga na mag-stretching, mag-warm up. Second part, so now, alam nyo na yung count ng beat. Ang technique ng street boys before, when we were starting, is once na nalaman na namin yung count ng beat, every count, meron kaming move na gagawin. That's what you call uh, doing a piece, a choreography. For example, 1-8 lang. You can go 1, you can go 2, you can go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's eight count. So every time na magbibilang ka ng one count, there's a move. Okay, I'll do it again. You go one, you go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gusto nyo dahan dahan ko para makasunod yung iba. Ready? Eto. Super simple, super easy para sa inyo na you just have to follow. One, you go two. You go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ngayon, pag sinabayan nyo siya sa beat, depende sa beat na gusto nyo, kung gusto nyo ganong ka-slow or gusto nyo mid-tempo, it will be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, yun yung mid-tempo. Depende sa beat. Ngayon, kung gusto nyo ng fast tempo, it will be like this. Hopefully, hindi ako magkamali. Ready? Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes! I got it. I got it. I got it. So, ganon. When we were starting, ganon kami magbilang. Every move na ginagawa namin is according to the count para magsabay-sabay kami. Kasi, we always think na as a group, you have to be precise. You know? Kasi ang nakikita ng mga tao is big picture. Unless meron kang solo, just burst out, do your move, bust the move, do your trademark dance. Pero pa, as a group, very important sa street boys ang precision. Kaya siguro, yun yung nagustuhan nyo rin sa amin. Very meticulous kami when it comes to precision. Kasi we are dancing as a group, we're not only dancing as one. Ang maganda rin sa street boys is we respect each other. I take the lead also and I, I help them out. We help each other out. Wala sa amin yung ay sikat yan o ganito, no? When it comes to a group, when when you say street boys, every per, every person, every member, we respect each other. We respect kung sino yung choreographer na magtuturo sa amin. We respect who will lead our group and we have this mutual respect na we are thinking that this is not just for you, this is not just for me, but this is for everyone. It's called the street boys. It's not the street boy. So, isa yun sa secret sauce namin. Now, we respect each other when it comes to rehearsal. We listen to each other. We help each other out. We communicate better. And yung laging nasa isip namin is makapagbigay kami ng kasiyahan sa mga tao. Not just for our personal gain, but it, it's for the group. So, nakita nyo yung choreography, right? You can practice that. Yun yung um, formula namin when we were starting. Of course, ngayon nag evolve na lahat yung mga bilang, but then again, some other time na natin pag-uusapan yun. Pag may masterclass na tayo with Master May. 